in the memory of our beloved son, brother, grandson, nephew, uncle, cousin, and friend, Botham Shem Jean, who was snatched from us on September 6, 2018, in Dallas, Texas. It is one year since you're gone, but it feels like yesterday. We miss you dearly with each passing day, but we take comfort in knowing that you are in a place you longed to be, singing with the angels and sitting at Jesus' feet. You know that we love and will forever stand for you, and we know that is what you expect us to do. Rest well, our dear Botham, until we meet again. Murder at 1478 by Cletus I. Springer Well before entering Harding University in Arkansas, Beaujean's off-stated ambition was to be Prime Minister of his native St. Lucia. He applied himself with fervor in pursuing a degree in accounting while impressing all at his church with his apocala singing. Bo had the world at his fingertips, as all could see. After graduating, he lands a job with PwC. He easily endears himself to the company's rank and file, on whose faces he always manages to put a smile. Then one fateful night in early September, Bo would encounter a cop named Amber. He's chilling alone in his apartment watching football when Amber makes her evil, uninvited and unwelcome call. In a matter of seconds, a life that held such great promise is brought to an end by the firearm of the police. Amber Geiger immediately resorts to spin, but it soon becomes clear her account is razor thin. The circumstances of the incident are both murky and clear. Witness share what they were able to hear when Geiger turned up at apartment 1478 and ended the life of a young man whose promise was great. Demonstrations erupt in Texas and all over the U.S. Protesters and Bo's parents make clear they will not rest. Geiger, in their view, committed cold-blooded murder and ought not to have been arrested on a lesser charge of manslaughter. How could she claim to have gone to Bo's apartment by mistake? That argument was an outrageous one to make, for Bo's apartment was marked, like no other, by a doormat that was bright red in colour. Now, after weeks of anxious waiting, a grand jury has agreed an indictment that's truly earth-shaking. As for only the second time in 45 years, a murder charge for a Texas cop was agreed that has eased fears. Amber Geiger will now have to face a murder trial and the prosecution will be able to challenge her flimsy denials. It will take at least a year before the case is heard, but all are hopeful that justice will be served. Through the pain and anguish of it all, the Je family has stood brave and tall, with dignity, grace and unfailing belief. They've given us potent lessons in the management of anger and grief. The family of Botham, Shem Jean, wishes to extend deep gratitude to the many persons who continue to support comfort and pray for us during this most difficult journey.